Hello everyone, Lydia Martinez here from L Marketing and Events. And today I am very excited to talk to you about um, something that has become a critical marketing technique and tool, um, which is search engine optimization, SEO, and ranking your website. So the way that I always think about SEO is, um, a way of putting a dot on a map. You've all been to like a mall or someplace where there's a map and it'll have a big red dot that says you are here. And when you have that dot on the map, you know where you are in relationship to everything else. You know what's going on around you. You know, you know, what is happening, um, what is happening. And so that dot on the map is a way for people to not for you to not just locate yourself, but for other people to locate you as well. If you can say, this is where I am within this larger map or within this larger building, this larger space, I'm here. Um, the biggest thing with, uh, with websites is putting your website out there into the world does not automatically put a dot on the map to show that you are there, that you exist, that you're in business, that you offer you know, goods or services or anything like that. It's not an automatic process at all. So when we're looking at being here, um, online, having a digital presence, search engine optimization and the ability to be found is super important. One of the things that I always do with clients when we're first onboarding them is I have them Google their own business name. Do it in incognito mode so that your browser history doesn't show and see what comes up. It will be fascinating. A lot of times things like your Facebook page might come up even before your website or maybe you're in a directory listing um, somewhere else and that might come up before your own website. One of the reasons is, is that a lot of times newer websites um, are not optimized for that search engine optimization. So they may not show up. But if your website has been up for a while and you've never done any type of search engine optimization, guess what? The web engines and, and crawlers will, or the search engines and crawlers will just kind of try and decide themselves what it is that you're about and they may or they may not pick the right thing. So it's really important that you actually work hard on your search engine optimization. Um, showcase and talk about what you do, where you're located. Um, those are kind of two of the starting things that are the most important for search engine optimization. You have to be able to showcase what it is that you do. For example, L Marketing, we are a full service digital marketing agency that focuses on content creation, um, and activation through real world, world events. If I don't rank for those things, then I'm in trouble. I'm based in Salt Lake City, Utah, but I'm a digital marketing agency, so I can work with anybody just about anywhere. I have learned, however, that I prefer to work within with clients within the um, uh, within the United States, or at least in the same time zones that I'm in. I don't do really well if I have to get up at two in the morning to meet with a client in Australia or um, in Ireland. So that's something to consider um, is where you're located, what areas do you service? Now, if I were a restaurant owner, I would want my search engine optimization to optimize for where I'm located. I can have the best website in the world, but if I am based in Salt Lake City, Utah, but I am attracting web traffic from Seattle, Washington, are those people gonna wander in my door when they get hungry tonight? Probably not. So that's why it's really, really important to optimize. Or if you have multiple locations, to optimize for each and every location. Something else that's really important is to consider um, organic search engine optimization versus paid search engine optimization. Organic is embedding the right keywords and key phrases in your site to 
let the search engines know who you are, where you're located, what you're about. Um, versus those paid opportunities, which means going out and doing directory listings and backlinking to your site from other, uh, from other sites. Search engine optimization is all about authority. Who are you? What do you know? What do you do? Do you do it well? And how long have you been around and how legitimate are you? Are you? Are there other websites that point back to your website to help legitimize who you are and what you do? If that's the case, then, um, then that's something that's really, really, it, it will really help your search engine optimization grow over time. So that's kind of a difference between this is organic, you know, this I'm, I'm doing organic content on my website on a regular basis that's showing my legitimacy and linking back to my site versus paid where I'm actively going out, posting articles, press releases, um, directory listings, things like that, that link back to my website. Um, so let's talk really quickly about keywords or key phrases. Um, and there's a lot out there and keywords and key phrases can take some time and there's some artistry to nailing them. But if you're looking at creating keywords or key phrases um, for your search engine, um, making sure that you're optimizing for what it is that you want to be known for. So, um, think of it as marketing, which is a very broad keyword, or a key phrase would be digital marketing agency in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, a, a, general key, a, a general keyword might be um, taqueria, but a key phrase would be taqueria in Salt Lake City, Utah or in Utah, something along those lines where it's very, very specific. And so you embed those key phrases in your website in a really organic way to help grow the page. One of the other things that's really important for search engine optimization is that you don't have a static website. A static website is a website that will, that, that Google just thinks is stale. The, the web crawlers secretly wonder if maybe you're even still in business if you don't have new content going up there on a regular basis, especially on your homepage. And so refreshing that content on a regular basis becomes really important um, when it comes to uh, showing Google and the other search engines that, hey, I'm relevant, I'm still in business, I've still got things to do, I've still got things to say. The best way to have regular new content go up on your website is to have a business blog and to post to it one to two, at least one to two times a month with keywords or key phrases optimized throughout. Another thing that really affects your search engine optimization is your site speed. If your site does not load very, very quickly, um, especially on mobile, then automatically the search engines drop you down in rankings. Um, and so that's something when you're designing your website or working with a web developer, you should absolutely work on is how do I get my site speed to load? You've probably experienced this, this yourself. So for example, you go to click on something and you're on your phone and you just want a quick bit of information and it takes forever to load. Do you hang out for longer than about a second and a half to for a site to load? Probably not. Most people don't. They'll flip away and look for the information somewhere else. And so if people flip away from your website really quickly because the site load times are bad, then guess what? The search en engines drop down your ranking. So you won't rank as high, you won't appear on the, on the first pages. Another thing when you're working on your website to consider is making sure that you're adding in what's called alt text on images, photos, logos, visuals. Now, search engines can read copy, they can read words but they can't see a photo. 
And so it's really important that for every photo that's on your website, you fill out the alt text for it, which is the, um, the, the text that describes the photo, but it's also a great place to pop in just a little bit of copy and content um, as well. And so that's something else that's really, really useful um, for telling a website who you are, what you're about, and giving you a visual way to rank. Um, another thing that's important is to fill out what's called a meta description for your pages. The meta description um, is what appears on the page when you Google something and the website will pop up and then right underneath that is a little description of what it is. One, that helps the actual user understand what it is they're getting when they click on that link, but it also helps the web, the, the, um, the websites to actually figure out what it, what that page is about. And if there's keywords in there or key phrases, it's even more effective. The other thing that's really useful is to put in a call to action. You know, learn more today, meet our team, something along those lines to let you let people know, hey, click on this. Like, don't just read this meta description. Come on, come on in. I'm inviting you into my house, my website. Come join me. Um, and so those are a few different things that you can do to improve your SEO and ranking. Make sure that you're using keywords and key phrases. Get new content up on your website on a regular basis. Um, work on site speed um, and improve your site speed wherever possible. Add in alt text and meta descriptions. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, we're delighted to have had you here. We're going to put in the comments um, links for our upcoming webinar and also links to book a call if you have any questions, although we're not going to flash that up on the screen. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We're very much looking forward to hearing from you um, and appreciate your time.